money. We all know what to do with it, but do you know how to get a job to make it? What a W-2 or a W-9 is, or how taxes work, or how banking and payments work on payday. Today, we're talking money. And when you have a job, it can be a little more complicated than just shaking the money tree. But after this video, you'll understand all the above. Let's take a look. To get a job, you must apply for it. Sometimes applications can be filled out online, sometimes in person, whatever the business prefers. Once you've filled out an application, the business will review it and usually set up an in-person interview. This is to learn a little more about you, your skills, and how you handle conflict. For the interview, remember to be on time, dress nicely, and make eye contact. Those could be the difference between you landing the job and someone else landing the job. For more help preparing for an interview, including doing a practice interview, contact your TS advisor. Once hired, you will fill out paperwork. There are three main forms you will probably need to fill out, an I-9, a W-4, and a W-2. An I-9 form verifies your eligibility to work in the U.S. If further documentation is needed, like an ID, a social security card, or a birth certificate, be prepared to provide those too. Next, a W-4 form. This determines how much money will be withheld and taken out of each of your paychecks. This is to pay your income taxes. If you make money, it gets taxed. A portion of this money will be credited back to you after you file your taxes. A W-2 is a form that is given to you from the business you work at by January 31st. It is a record of the amount of money you have made for the entire previous year you worked. Make sure you keep this form somewhere safe. You may need it later for financial aid applications, and it can be hard to get a replacement from your job. You can also use the information on this form to file your taxes. You can file taxes online or with the help of a tax preparation group, but you may not have to file them at all. For instance, if you make a smaller amount, you don't have to pay taxes at all. This amount changes from year to year. Your TS advisors can help you with this. Once you've finished with your paperwork, you will be asked how you want to receive your paycheck. Most businesses pay either weekly or bi-weekly. That paycheck will most likely be paid to you one of three ways, direct deposit, paper check, or the company method. Direct deposit, you will provide your employer your bank information and a check will be automatically deposited into your bank account on payday. Paper check, you will be handed an actual paper check that you will need to take to a bank or store to cash. To cash a check, you must provide an ID. The company method is when the company provides you a card and your check will be deposited into an assigned account. Whatever method you choose, it's a good idea to go ahead and set up a bank account. There are two types of accounts, a savings account, which is simply a bank account to save money in a safe place, and a checking account, which is a bank account that comes with checks or a debit card that you can use to make purchases and the money comes directly out of your account wirelessly. Now that you know more about the money you make and how to make it, it's time to shake that money tree.